at home with Lucas here. So today we're going to be talking about Wild Badger Power. This is a trimmer and a blower that I'm going to be reviewing in this video. These are both 20 volt powered devices. It comes with two batteries and a charger. Not to mention that the trimmer actually turns into an edger. Yes, people, it is a two-in-one. The blower is just a straight up handheld blower, but it has a few tricks up its sleeve. So in this video, we're doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said trimmer and blower. After that, I'm gonna be putting these bad boys to the Atom Lucas test to figure out, is this something you should buy or maybe skip altogether? I'm here for you, so I don't have to waste your time buying or returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so this is everything that you got in the box. You have two batteries back there. You have the charger, you have the blower, the trimmer handle, and then the instruction guide. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the blower itself. So this is a pretty small blower. I mean, it's long, but it's it's small in, in the size of the motor here and the size of this here. It feels really, really good in the hand. It looks completely different than any blower I've ever seen. I uh, have to give them applause for that. This is where the battery goes in right here, which should help balance out this plastic shaft right here. This comes off super, super easily, goes right back on really easily, locks into place. Um, all in all, this thing seems decent. It's definitely on the small side though, so I'm super interested to see how much power is actually gonna come out of here. Like they say, it looks like it has a single pull right here. No, um, no two-step trigger. So that's nice. I'm used to using a lot of these things that are two-step or they have a speed gauge. This has no speed gauge. It looks like you're just gonna pull it uh, a little bit and then pull it full to get the max blowing capacity. So uh, there's the name of the company, Badger right there. I like that name, that's not bad. All right, let's take a look at how the battery pack goes in goes in just like that that's actually really nice really easy the main thing is how do you get it out um, I've dealt with some of these where you have to really pull quite hard and it's super annoying but let's just take a quick look at how that looks in there it's really balanced now I like that a lot very uh, good on the wrist let's go ahead and push this down and take it out Woo! that comes out like butter people that is so nice Wow, and it looks like there's enough room here, so if you wanted to buy a expansion battery, you may be able to do that. I don't know if this company offers that, but I'm just speculating right off the bat. Looks like you have some indicator lights right here. There you go, people. All right, that is nice. All right, let's take a look at the trimmer. So it looks like there is some assembly required. It looks like you put the handle right in there. Okay, handle goes on just like that really easily. You just unthread this. Thread it back on, tighten it into place, and it looks like you can adjust it in so many different ways. The guard's gonna go on with three or four little screws. Okay, that went on super easy, very nice. This is the edger wheel right here. So when you flip this thing around into edging mode, that's gonna roll on the sidewalk or wherever you're edging. Looks like you have an extender right here to extend this all the way out to full size and then you lock it into place right here. Ooh, that locked in really nice, I like that. And you have your ability to adjust it right here. You just have to pinch on both sides. Adjust it as you want. And then it looks like you push here to spin this into edger mode Ooh, that is very nice and then you push again wow that is really cool the one that i dealt with was not like that and you had to grab it up here and turn it it was really terrible they thought about this quite well there's a push right there that is so nice spin it to the side locks into place spin it back locks again okay it looks like there's some protective tape right here you definitely want to take this off okay so it definitely has a safety push button right here and then you have a full clicky handle right here that's really nice all right let's see how the battery goes in the okay, battery goes in like this real simple yeah that feels that feels good that's not bad definitely has a decent weight balance turn it on Ooh. 
All right, that is a very low vibration. So once again, that's how it looks with the battery pack in. Let's see how easy it is to take out of this one. Oh yeah, that is very nice. Okay, let's take a closer look at the charger right here. So this is the 20 volt lithium ion battery charger. Looks pretty straightforward. You drop your battery straight in. Oh, this is interesting. It doesn't actually click in. It just sits right in there. So it's a very minor, it goes in maybe half an inch and it sits in. That's nice. My last one, you had to push it all the way down and it locked and then you had to unlock it and pull it out and it took a lot of power to get the thing out. This is nice that it's just that simple. Okay, one thing I just noticed that's a little bit of a design flaw is that it sucks in air from the back. And if you watch what happens when I turn it on. So if you're not paying attention, you may actually suck in your shirt <laughs> or your pants if they're or shorts, if they're nice and loose. So that is a little bit strange. Pulls it in from the back, easy to catch on if you're not paying attention.
Okay, let's talk about battery life. So the battery life on this thing is decent. It's down to two right here. I've been using it for a couple um, jobs now and it definitely held up, but it's not the biggest battery and it's not gonna last the longest, so definitely take note of that. The size of the battery and the trimmer and everything and the blower kind of tell you that this is for a smaller yard. So battery limitations are there for sure, but the compact size of these things and the, what, how fast they charge is actually really nice. Using these things for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review. So let's just start off with this blower right here. So I would recommend this blower to someone who has a really small yard, small amount of sidewalk, small amount of patio. If you have a big yard with a big patio, big deck, big uh, driveway that's really long, a uh, bunch of uh, sidewalks all over the place, uh, you're probably going to want to go with something that has a little bit more power. For some reason, I could not get this thing to blow the grass as hard as I would want it to. It really just did not provide enough power. And then this thing right here being a solid circle may have actually caused a little bit of um, lack of power. I think if it came to a point more or it pinched in a little bit, that might give it a little bit more power. But this thing definitely just does not have enough power. I think the 20 volt is uh, lacking in this thing right here. And I definitely think that they could improve it and just give it a little bit more power to push that grass out of the way. And I could only imagine if you're trying to use this with leaves, you would have a lot of problem. But like I said, if you have a small yard and it's really well maintained and you're just trimming and blowing um, every week and you don't really have a lot of grass clippings, uh, this thing is gonna do the job great. I love the fact that you can just pull the trigger and away it goes. It really is awesome and it has the micro you can just pull it slowly. So that, that is awesome. So I'm gonna say if you have a big yard, you have a long driveway, you have some sidewalk and skip this one, go with something else. But if you have a small yard, small sidewalk, um, and you want something really simple just to do a little simple job, then this is gonna be the one for you. So because of the limitations of how much it can blow out, I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. I'm gonna say that it definitely has the right design. It, it fits in the hand really well. It's something that has tiny amount of vibration. You don't really feel annoyed. It's not too loud. So because of that, it's getting a four star and not something a little bit lower. So that's the blower. Okay, let's talk about the trimmer right here. So this thing has very, very low vibration. It doesn't annoy the hand. It's not super loud and it's very, very lightweight. It definitely has enough power, which is interesting because the blower was lacking in power, but this thing has enough power to cut through some pretty decent height of grass. So that's really nice. It does an auto release and an auto trim. So it's doing all that for you. You don't have to go down and adjust the length. So that's really nice. I love the fact that you can make this thing shorter or longer. This ability right here to go from trimming to edging in just a snap and the ability to adjust this thing down by just pinching it is awesome. The build quality is decent. It's not the strongest thing out there. You can definitely tell as you're using it, it's a little bit flimsy and it's not the most precision edger or trimmer out there. So if you're looking for something that's super precision, that's gonna do that really tight, uh, precise job, you may wanna skip this and go with something else. But if you have a small yard with a little bit of trimming and a little bit of edging to do, then this thing is gonna be a phenomenal uh, trimmer edger for you. So because of some of the limitations, I'm going to give this a 4.2 star rating. I'm going to say that it's recommended for smaller yards and for people who want a super lightweight yet powerful trimmer. All right, there you go. That's the Wild Badger Power Trimmer and Blower. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click and clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 6K. Yes, people, on my way to 7K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.